y bueno, y también me gusta mucho Ronaldinho, que lo veo que ha seguido, está cerca y también lo seguía mucho desde que estaba en River a Pablo Aymar. Son los tres jugadores que más me gustan. Growing up, each player had that one idol, the player you looked up to, the player you wanted to emulate. Zidane even named his son after his hero, Enzo Francescoli, while others like Mbappe and Cristiano Ronaldo contented themselves with posters on their wall. During his time at Sporting Lisbon's academy, CR7 had the privilege of playing alongside his idol, Mario Harvel. The Brazilian striker could have written his name in the history books, but destiny often throws obstacles in your way. Let's take a look at what happened to CR7's idol, Mario Hadvel. Whisper the name Mario Hadvel to any 90s football fanatic and they'll say the same thing. Goal Machine. A product of Vasco da Gama's academy, he burst onto the scene with Gremio in 1995, the same club that produced Ronaldinho. But that's where the similarities would end. While Ronaldinho marveled fans with his fancy footwork, Hadvel was a predatory penalty box striker. After securing Copa Libertadores glory, he traveled across the Atlantic to join Portuguese side FC Porto. It's now an oft-traveled route, but Harvel was the pioneer. During his time with Porto, Harvel would score like there was no tomorrow. In 175 games for the club, he scored 167 goals and collected three league titles. He then moved to Galatasaray, where he would score the winning goal in the European Super Cup against Real Madrid on debut. His stint in Turkey lasted just one season, but his figures remained impressive. Linked with a move to Marseille, he eventually made a return to Portugal instead. During his spell with Sporting, he won the European Golden Shoe in 2002 after scoring 42 goals over the course of the 01-02 season. And that same time, he would take a young Cristiano Ronaldo under his wing. Whether it was during training or in matches, CR7 learned from his Brazilian mentor and notably inherited his masterful heading technique. But that season would prove to be the tip of the iceberg for Hartvel who would experience a tragic demise thereafter. Drugs and depression. Super Mario, who had already missed out on the 98 World Cup in France, would once again experience heartache following his omission from Brazil's 2002 squad. He was left traumatized by Luis Felipe Scolari's decision. It just wasn't to be for Hadvel and the Selecao. He won just 10 caps for his national side. Another event would prove catastrophic for the star, divorce. His separation proved the catalyst for a pit of depression, a subject that is still taboo in the world of football. So imagine what it was like 20 years ago. The center forward succumbed to drugs and stared death in the face. He recently featured in a reality show where he discussed his troubles. In December 2002, I had a cocaine overdose. I stayed awake for seven days straight. It's not an example to follow. Off the pitch, he was living a life full of excess. I was meeting women and stayed in that mindset thinking that nothing could happen to me and Harvel would never quite recover. His move to Bolton in 2003 was the start of a nomadic journey. In less than 10 years, he played for 14 clubs across many far-flung leagues such as Cyprus, Australia, and Bulgaria. The man who finished the 2000 Champions League campaign as top scorer eventually retired in 2011 in total obscurity, while his protege was writing history alongside Lionel Messi. A sad ending for a super player. The story of Mario Harvel is a cautionary tale that shows just how important mental and physical well-being is to the success of footballers. Hardvel had the talent to join Romario and Ronaldo among the pantheon of Brazilian footballing legends, but depression and a life of excess paid the end to such hopes. Maybe it was his idol's demise that propelled Cristiano to take such meticulous approach to his own health. Want to learn more about another of CR7's mentors? If so, make sure to check out our video by clicking on the following link. See you soon on Oh My Goal.